In this video, I'm going to show you how to bill your clients using WebStart's agency features. Agency features are perfect for someone who builds websites for someone else. That can be web designers, freelancers, or marketing agencies. Before I get into the video, I want to invite you to tap the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new feature or a new video. All right, let's get into it. I'm at webstarts.com. I'm going to sign up and create a new account. The first thing you'll see after clicking the get started, it's free, is a page where you select a template for which you're going to build a website. Just select whatever one looks good for this example. Then next we're going to be adding our information. And then finally we click sign up. The next step you can choose to either add a domain name or choose a subdomain name at WebStart. So I'm going to click choose later because we're going to do this at a later time. I'm going to go ahead and close out this welcome video that shows you exactly how to build a website using WebStarts if it's your first time. The next thing I'm going to do is click on this drop down menu in the top right and click settings because I'm going to enable agency features within this account. Scroll down on the settings page and you'll see the agency features area. Click activate. And that activates your agency features. Agency features include everything from a custom client login portal URL that you see here to giving your own business name and then uploading your own logo for your own brand and a bunch of other things. You'll notice below this that we also have the client billing section. You're going to go there, you're going to click connect now, and if you haven't already created a Stripe account, you're going to create that by walking through the process. There you'll enter in your bank information, that way when Stripe collects money on your behalf through credit card, ACH, or a wire payment from your clients, they'll know where to deposit the money. I've enabled this in another account, so I'm going to show you what it looks like in an enabled account. So let me just pop. I have a bunch of websites that I manage in my account, so I'm going to show you how you can bill for these sites that you've built. I click on the drop-down menu and I click Clients. That opens up the Manage Clients modal. Here you can see a list of my clients along with a link to the websites that I built for them and then a little overflow menu that allows me to do things like add an invoice for that specific client, assign a specific site for a client as well as edit the client information, reset their password, and delete them from the interface. If you want to add a client for the first time, click Add Client, then they'll be added to this list. Next thing you're going to need to do is create some products. I suggest you create an open web design hourly rate. I do this at $120 per hour. Once you've created that product, it'll be in your list and you can just charge people that. I also have a per page rate of $100, so every time I create a page, I charge a flat rate of $100. I've also created another product called Slideshow because sometimes clients request to add certain things to their website and you can just make them a flat rate and that makes it easy for them to understand what, how, and why things cost what they cost. The last thing I want to draw your attention to is this monthly web hosting charge. When you create a website for somebody, it's critical that you charge them a hosting fee every single month because that's just a cost of doing business and I charge $40 per month. You can create these products by clicking on the Add Product button. You give it a name, a price, description, select whether it's one of those one-time fees or whether it's a recurring charge. It's a recurring charge. You can recur the charge on a daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis. Most common when it comes to web hosting is to charge on a monthly basis. When you're ready, click Save, and then that product will be added to the list. Finally, you'll click on the Invoices tab to create an invoice for a specific customer. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create or Add Invoice, and then I can add an invoice for a specific customer and a specific site. It's important to realize that a client can have more than one website, and in that case, you'll need to create the bill associated with whichever site you select from this dropdown. When you click Continue, you'll be in the Add Invoice interface, and you'll be able to add a line item to the invoice. So, for example, if I want to charge $100 a page and build a five-page website, that's going to be a $500 charge. And I can come down and also select the monthly recurring hosting fee. When I'm ready, I click Send Invoice, and then that's going to send my client an invoice that gives them a link where they can click to pay. I can also click next to an invoice here and download it as a PDF. I can send the invoice back to the client again. I can void the invoice, or I can click Pay the Invoice, and then it opens up the Stripe interface. 
along with the logo to my website and my site colors and then there I can pay the invoice on the client's behalf so that would be a good example if for instance the client gave you their credit card number over their phone well that's it for this video thanks for watching client billing with the WebStarts agency features don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell and I'll see you next time